welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Radar. Special K. The Mingo. Yeah, what time it is? It's Trader Joe's Vodka it's time. It's Trader Joe's Vodka time. So this is Trader Joe's oh, yeah. Versatile Vodka. Vodka. Now they have a $10 bottle of vodka, then they have like an $18 bottle that's like completely premium. Uh-huh. Uh, this one's distilled with grapes. I'm gonna assume, knowing that this is you, it's not this is the $10 vodka. But how did you know? Because this is you. Oh, no, because people like to watch this drink the shitty stuff. That's that's also a well, thing that people ten, enjoy watching. Ten dollars. Um, ten dollars is. If this is a good. Of, yeah. Well, most the only other vodka I know that's made with grapes. It's. It's, it's uh, grapes. 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 Yeah. 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 Um. So this is chilled wine vodka. Uh, never mind. That's really good. Uh, so this yes. is forty percent alcohol by volume or eighty proof, which is pretty good. Uh, it smells like. Uh, smells like uh, rubbing vodka. alcohol. Yeah. It has a like a penny kind of smell to it. Like yeah, a metallic copper. type deal. A copper, no, specifically copper. Give, you getting that? A little bit. I'm just getting like a like a metallic thing in general. I don't know about pennies specifically, but it's a, it's, it's vodka-y flavor. Scent is definitely coming through. Yeah, definitely. Clear? Yeah, obviously. Mmm. That's gonna shiver down my spine. That's actually pretty good vodka. Like as I drank it, as I drank it, a little, a little like it's went a, down my, went down it's my back. A little sweeter than I thought, but it's not. There's no, nothing. I mean, it's. It doesn't have a weird flavor. It Doesn't have anything offensive in the flavor at all. Mm. It's pretty smooth. It's a little warm, but not vodka. Too bad. Well, it's forty percent alcohol. Yeah, it's, it's, it's it's uh for it's ten alcoholic for sure. For a ten dollar bottle of vodka, that's surprisingly good. It's not bad for a ten dollar bottle of vodka. We'll have to do a head to heads with this. Mm. We will. Take another sip for dexterity. For dexterity? Mm hmm. And this is what you start spending the floor. This gives me. That's that this gives me yeah. yeah. This gives me pluses to dexterity. Give yeah. me the it's rest me, of the bottle. Give right me now. Plus, plus four per shot. I'm playing a ranger. It's plus four per shot. <laughs> um, You're going through a emotion here. Just making up words again. <laughs> it's not like it has that little off smell, but it tastes fine. Yeah. It's good vodka. For ten dollars, that's actually surprisingly good. Strategery. Uh, I would have to put. The, I'd, I'd say that might be better than Finlandia. Ooh. I, me and Finlandia have a love hate relationship right now. Did you love it and hate it? Uh, I don't know. No, no, I, no. I, I loved it last weekend. Now I hate it. Let's see, that's what it is. Now we're going with cranberry juice as our mixer because let's be real, vodka it's, and cran is good. Vodka yeah. and cranberry is uh, a classic vodka drink. Vodka and orange cran. <laughs> that's <laughs> weird. Sure. That does smell Oh insane. my god, what it is it? like corn. It smells so weird. <laughs> it smells like corn. This is cocktail juice. It's not like 100% um, cranberry juice. I mean, that's what they're going to give you at the bar, to be fair. But that has a weird, like, I can imagine a beer smelling like this, but not a mixed drink. You know what I mean? I mean, this isn't really a mixed drink. It's just, it tastes fine. Yeah. It It's kind of sweet. It's sweeter than... It's sweeter than what you usually get when you mix juice with uh, with liquor. Is that just me? It's not objectionable though. And you can't get any really warmth or burn or anything. It just it's yeah, alcoholic it's, juice. It's all right. All right. Yeah. So Very my, good mix. my rating for this vodka straight. Honestly, for what it is, it's cheap. It's mostly readily available if you have a Trader Joe's that has a liquor store. Mm -hmm. um, but ten dollars is good for a decent vodka. Like that's Fetka range, and this is better than Fetka and the other ten dollar bottles of vodka. Fetka isn't ten dollars a bottle anymore. Yeah, it is. It's like twelve. It sounds like eight, ten ninety nine. Depends on where you go. And minutia. So. Uh, anyway, uh, straight. <laughs> on, it's an eight. It's an eight straight. That's a real word. <laughs> yeah. I mean, for vodka, it meets all the requirements for a good vodka. Um, it's a good mixer. Um, what do you think, either one of you? Uh, I'll give it a seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, you know, it, for the price, it is it is really good. Um, it it makes a hell of a mixer. We're not there yet, but I'll tell you what, straight is not too terrible either. There's, just, there's it's, it's no just type weird of smelling cranberry. There's no type of weird flavors going on, so that's a plus. It's, old it's a neutral spirit. I just bought it today. That's what it's supposed to be. I'll give this. Um, as a straight, I'll give it a six. It's good. It's not, uh, I feel like it's not, uh, uh sipping vodka. Okay. There's an eight. But, an eight. <laughs> There's very it is all right. And I will yeah. give it, I think I'll give it a seven. 
as a mixer. It makes a good mixer. I feel like this would be a good under the bar type vodka. I mean, it has a very traditional style bottle. You could uh, you could pass it off as vodka wine because it's made out of grapes. It's in a wine bottle. You could yeah you could be like yes this is the wine that I'm going to drink today and then be just hammered out of your mind. I mean I'm sure it's how they save money putting in a wine. I mean they have their three dollar wines. I mean wine bottles are pretty standard. I, like there's probably. I mean I'm sure it costs you know vodka bottles are all weird shape. I'm sure it saves yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of money just to use a fucking wine bottle. Probably does. Like they're they're probably looking to make as cheap a bottle of vodka as possible because. That's kind of what Trader Joe's is all about. They make cheap things. But anyways, like, most of the time they're pretty decent. Cheap things that are decent though. Yeah. Like they cut they cut the cost in places that is not the actual product. They do stuff like put vodka in a wine bottle because it's super super cheap. Or make pretty plain labels and stuff. You know. Yeah. All right. You guys recommend it? Um, yeah. Oh wait, I didn't. I didn't do it. Uh, mix. As a mixer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's right. I'd give it an eight. An eight. Yeah. I think I would. I think I would suggest this. Like, it's a good. Like I said, it's a good under the bar beer. Or beer. It's a. Good, it's a good under the bar vodka. Yeah. Fine with me. Uh yeah. I mean, I guess that it's it's above all the other ten dollar bottles I've had. So yeah. Um, absolutely, I would recommend it if you're like I said. We have to try their like, sixteen dollar bottle now. I don't want to pay sixteen dollars. You know. I mean, ten to twelve dollars is the most I want to pay for most spirits. So. But all right, that's our episode. If there's something you'd like to see on the channel, you can leave a comment down there. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Special K. I'm Radar. And I'm the Mingo. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Why does Norway have uh, barcodes on the side of their ship? Because uh, incarceration is so low there. The Scandinavian. Fucking sit down. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Fucking. That's some stupid shit. Pour me some vodka. <laughs> So I can forget about that. God damn it. You like that one? No, I don't. You did. Fuck that off. So bad. Why is it? Why is it that preppy girls only travel in groups of three and five? Because well, they can't even. Yeah. That's also terrible.